<laughs> you guys know what time it is. Story time with... So today's story, when I was going through my notes, I was trying to figure out something to talk to you guys about, because I miss you guys. I haven't, I haven't made a video in six months, just a guess. I was looking through my notes, and I found a little gem that I wrote down on my trip to California this summer. So the story I'm going to be telling you is about the angriest flight attendant that I have ever met in my life. Over the summer, my godfather and I went to California. And on our way back, we took a red eye, and then we took an early-ish morning flight back to Cincinnati. So this one is on our last flight. Put things in perspective, I'm not the smallest person. Um, I'm about six foot, got pretty wide shoulders, I guess. Um, and this plane was tiny. The chairs were smaller than like an office chair, as plane seats are. But these were like that cut in half. So I was, I was literally sitting like this the whole time trying to sleep. So I'm already a little uncomfortable. A little pissed because I'd been up all night trying to sleep on the flight, the flight prior to that. So, get on the plane, look at the seats. Crap. This is going to be a long flight. <laughs> Set my stuff under my seat. Uh, my backpack barely fits under the seat in front of me. Sit down and wait for the plane to take off. As I'm doing that, a male flight attendant walks onto the plane and he just looks like he takes his job incredibly seriously, which I can respect, but I mean, he was serious. So he walks up and he starts doing inventory, all the foods, drinks, that kind of thing. I can just see him getting flustered. And that's when there's a knock on the panel in the floor under him. And he opens it up. What? And there's this little guy down underneath on the ground. I think he's on a ladder or something with a case, a case of soda. Did you ask for some soda? I need ice. So you don't want the soda. I asked for ice. Okay, so you want ice, but should I take this down? If you want to give me the soda, that's fine. Just bring me back some ice for it, please. So should I? Yes, leave the soda. I will put it to good use. This went on for a good five minutes. Arguing back and forth, soda, ice, soda, ice, soda, ice, both, coffee, liquor, whatever. They're arguing and the flight attendant just gives up. <sighs> I get on this plane and there are half a dozen things that I need. If you want to give me the soda, that's fine. Just make sure you bring me some ice as well. So the guy gets the message and closes the little trap door <laughs> and runs to get him some ice. At this point, the flight attendant is just angry with everything. He's throwing stuff around the little kitchen area, slamming drawers, uh, loading up the cart with soda. He's just angry. He's just trying to get his anger out. Uh, a lot of the time you can take a you know, pretty small size suitcase and carry it onto the plane with you, usually. That's what I do, because it's easier than checking it. However, this plane was so small that we had to check our bags at the gate. To add to the flight attendant's frustration, there's a woman who gets on the plane. Well, she gets onto this tiny little cramped plane with a suitcase behind her. You're gonna have to check that. I, no, I, I don't wanna check it. Ma'am, the plane, the plane is small. You're, you're gonna have to check that bag. We'll get it to you right after the flight. I promise, no issues. I don't wanna check it. Can I, can I just put it in the overhead compartment? Ma'am, there's no room. Do I have a choice? Yes. Okay, then I don't want to check it. The choice is you either check it or it doesn't fit. You have to check your bag. So after arguing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, she finally gets the memo and checks her bag right outside the door of the plane. As soon as he tells her what her choices are, my godfather leans up from the seat behind me and goes, man, that's one hell of a choice. That's all I got. That's it. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, hopefully I'll be making some more stuff for you soon. Later, Gator.
Story time with That's right, Isaac. <laughs>